What is up, guys? It is Retro Gaming now, and I'm here with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now, this is a very fun sort of sandbox game where basically you build a roller coaster in an amusement park, and um, you can do whatever you want. It's unlimited money, at least in the mode I'm playing with. It's just a really fun game you just to screw around and mess with. Um, this is not going to be an LP per se. Perhaps I'll just call them Quick Plays QPs or something. But it's more of just a. You know, I just sort of feel like playing this game, and I might as well record it and sort of show you what this game is about. So, um, that said, let's get started. So, this is our park. There's not a lot to it yet. So, I've played this game before. I played it in the past. I played it years, years ago when it first came out. And it's been a while, so what do we want to do? Well, I'm going to start just by expanding my park path a little bit. I think we'll do this path here. Need to delete all these actually. I'm not sure we can do that actually. You know, this is fine. From here we'll just do this path. So I'm just I'm just gonna sort of build a quick way out, and then from there we can start throwing some coasters and stuff down. I right, might as well just let people in, I don't see why not. So Right here, whoops, path type is this type. From here we're just going to do sort of a food court sort of thing, so people who come into the park for the first time can get their bearings straight, and stuff like that. So to do that we're going to have to go to shops and facilities, we'll just do a standard burger, rotate this a couple of ways. Um, I actually want it to be here. Burger shop. Set that to open. We'll do a drink shop. Just standard drink. Rotate we'll twice. That is now going to be open. And then on the other side, we're going to need our standard ATM. It's just going to go there. Um, no, oh, I want facilities. First aid, we will put this. Well, I don't want to... that'll work. I just don't want that to be the first thing people see is first aid. And then also we're going to need information. Oh yeah, and of course toilets. So information goes... actually we're going to delete this. How do I delete this? I don't remember. Delete. There we go. We want this to be right up here. So we can give us some stuff, and then on the other side we're going to put our restrooms. So do a pair of those, I think. Um, toilets, there we go. Alright, that looks good, so we have to make sure both these are open. And now we've got a pretty basic... basic... Um, place for people to be. So you notice I said it so it's all day. When I'm doing construction I want it to be entirely day. Generally for what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna get this stuff out of the way really quick. We're just gonna need a little some trash cans. So you can see there's all these themes up here. Different scenery and stuff and for now I just want to use the standard theme. So it'll be this trash bin. So just push one, put one there, one there, and put one there. Alright that is good. So from here, we're going to build some stuff. So the way you put rides in is over here. you got all these categories. Roller coasters, junior rides, thrill rides, water rides, gentle rides, transport rides, well, pools, other rides, etc., etc. And now there's animals. I've never actually played with this expansion, but there's an expansion that added animals. So I generally like to start out with just some pretty basic thrill rides. I think we're going to have this a large pathway in the center here. I think I keep hitting escape. I'm just going to expand my path just a touch. I'm going to have this big centralized pathway and then it'll split out somewhere else. This will be a big pathway. And then at some point we can adjust it so it looks nice. Obviously we have two different types of pathway here. And 
don't always have to have pathway because people, like the little people, they get confused pretty easily. All right, so we're going to build, not that, uh, just a basic thrill ride. So let's see what we've got here. Aerolon, that's pretty, pretty standard. Enterprise is one of my favorites, though, so we're going to start out with that. So the way this works is you place this here. You place your entrance and your exit. And so from your entrance, you need to build a queue line. And we don't want that. We're going to do the standard red. I guess it's not red, is it? So this is the line that you build that they will stand in. Whoops. And depending on like the uh, popularity of the ride, this is going to be a different length. I keep hitting escape. What's the... I just need to hit these X buttons. So now that we've got that, we can just go ahead and open this ride. And we have a ride in our park, so people will go there. One thing that I forgot we have to do... Let's hire some workers, so we're going to need... We'll just hire several janitors, several of these, several uh, policemen, a couple of policemen. Then we'll hire a pair of entertainers. These guys will just walk around. And mechanics are really important in this game. But you need all of them. So now you can see we're going to start getting people going to our number one ride. The only ride we have. So I think on the other side of that I'm just going to put a... Another thrill ride, because why not? We'll do the chair swing. This is another classic. So this bloom is really annoying. I might have to eliminate this. I'm going to get rid of this. I put that in the wrong place. Delete. Let's see if I can do that really quick. Um, settings. Graphic settings. Bloom. There we go. That's a lot more pleasant to look at. So we're going to build a chair swing for $502. This on the other side, exit here, and we will put our path. So a lot of, there's not a lot of interesting stuff going on right now, I realize that, but I'm just sort of, you gotta, you have to start out by building some rides before we can actually build some roller coasters. Ah, he, keep hitting the escape key. So that is open. We've got a pair of open rides now. The Enterprise and the Jar Swing. I think I'm going to put a couple of easy gentle rides here. Dodgems, this is... I don't know what this is. Ferris Wheel. We'll put that in the middle, I think. Karaoke concert. Oh, karaoke. Best selling recording artist. Right, of course. Um, what do we have here? House of Fun. This looks fun. So put our entrance over here and our exit here. And of course, just add our queue line. Alright, there we go open that up. You see our park is starting to bustling up here. Our park rating is going up a little bit. It is a very boring park, but I'm going to put in one more gentle ride and then we'll actually start building a roller coaster, because that's really where this game is at, Roller Coaster Tycoon. And we'll do a circus. People tend to like circuses. Just over here, exit here, and our line Oh, that's wrong. Actually, that'll work out. Alright, there we go. Good to go. So, now that our park is actually going, we're going to expand it a little bit. So I'm just going to sort of show you how you build a roller coaster. You can see we have all these different types of coasters, and we can do just standard steel, wooden, suspended, or water coasters, which would be something like a dinghy slide. Um, what we need is the corkscrew coaster, I believe is what it's called. That is generally the standard coaster. So 
I think just to actually put a coaster in our park, I'm just going to use one of the ones they have. So you can see we can open up, build a safe track design. We've got all these different ones here. I'm just going to pick this one because it's pretty basic. Not too complicated. And we will just set this one down. Rotate this a couple times. Here. Yeah, there's not really a way to go over or anything. We'll do that. That's kind of cool again. Going over the top of that. So, as always, time to build a path. We're going to want this one to be just a touch longer because people like roller coasters, it seems. And there we go. There's the entrance to that. Now we just gotta figure out our exit, and we've got a nice little spot here we can just send a pathway through. And there you go, there's our exit. So let's go ahead and open that. Actually, I want to show you how the coaster cam works, so I'm gonna put it into testing. If you go here, you can enter coaster cam. This is a ton of fun to do. You can actually see what it's like to ride these things. So let's just try it out. This is more fun if you design the coaster yourself, as you'll see when we do that, but... Bear expands in the thing. Look at that. Weeeeeee! And when there's people in it, you hear the screams of... Screams of joy. And there was one there, but I don't think it's from this. I think it's from something else. Corkscrew. Whoa! down. Another quick screw. Looks like we're about to finish it off here. So yeah, that's not a super interesting coaster to be perfectly honest with you. But it works. I think I'm actually going to put two trains on if I can do that. There's some way to do this. Operating mode. Number of circuits. We can do multiple circuits. I don't know actually how to change the number of trains. There is a way to do that. Now, here it is. Number of trains. Two trains. Alright. Good. So we can set this up so that... Leave if another train arrives at the station. So, these will just continuously be going. And as soon as the next one lands, it will launch itself. Alright, that looks good. Our park is bustling a little bit. Let's see. Let's expand our walkway a little bit. I'm gonna just do this, just this normal, normal, whoops, unthemed um, park style for just a little bit longer, and then I think we're gonna actually go to some themes. So I'll just put a couple more rides over here. I'll put go karts. Go karts are usually a pretty fun one, and you can actually design your track. So I'll show you how to do that. That would be in Thrill Rides, I believe. Maybe it's in Roller Coasters. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I think it's in Roller Coasters. Um, let's look for it. So, see, there's a ton of types of roller coasters. It's a lot of fun. Hmm, I'm not finding it. Go karts, go karts. Might be, it's not junior rides, is it? Thrill rides, C, D, E, F, G. Gravitron gyrator. Huh. I'm surprised I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Other types. Yeah, there we are. That's quad bikes. That's not quite the same. Where is go karts? Here's go karts. All right, so we're gonna build our own go kart track. So you see what we've got here. This is like a very, pretty much just a simplified roller coaster design. So we have these loading stations, and this is where our cars are actually gonna be. And then from here, you can control where the track goes. Now this one, obviously, there's less to do with it. 
because it's go-karts. But we're just going to build a basic track so you can see we can raise it up, descend, actually, turn, turn, descend, descend. And we're just going to build something basic. It's a go-kart track. It doesn't matter that much, does it? Do a short turn inside. Large turn outside. Sort of like a snake. Um, forward. Large turn. And we're going to go back underneath our track if we can actually do that. And we're going to go underground. Because you can do that. That's one of the fun things about this game is going underground. See, when you go far enough underground, you can see it switches views so you can actually see what's underground. You can do all sorts of stuff underground. Like, like uh, paths and stuff you can do underground. And so we're just going to set this up in a position where it can head back up. Doing roller coasters underground is a lot of fun. You can make ads for some interesting coasters. Turn this around, and we'll make our final descent. Not descent, return. Is this going to work? Yeah, there we go. So it's completed. When we complete it, we add our, very similar to the original one, entrance and our exit. So we're going to have to get rid of some of this, unfortunately, to put a cube path. I didn't think that out very well. So just go around like that, and there will be our cue path, if that's enough. I keep hitting escape. Alright, we will open that up, and now people will start to enter. We want to set this up, though. Number of circuits for just one. Number of cars. There's only one car in here, so we need more than that. It's going to be boring. Oh, we got to turn it off to change that. We'll do 12 Mario Kart style standard. And I know I said this isn't going to be themed. This area's not going to be themed, but, you know, I kind of want to add some thematic elements. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Scenery. So we got, like, foliage, fences, more fences. That's walls and roofs. Path extra, scenery items, etc. Hmm. None of these look very interesting for a go-kart. Go-kart sort of drive. Maybe we could do a Roman courtyard. I kind of like the idea of a jungle or just a forest. We'll, ju we'll just load it up with trees. How about that? There's a large oak. That'll go in the middle. We need some medium and smaller ones. Trees make everything look nicer, too, it seems like. So we'll just load this up. Small broad line. That'll work. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sort of messing around. That's basically what the goal of this video is, just screwing around, having fun. No real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Basically, right now, just trying to make this more interesting to look at. Or more interesting when you're actually in it. And you can see they're off. And since uh, they're doing that right now, I just kind of want to see what it's like. So we can actually go coaster cam to this. And see what it's like driving, in our guy, driving one of our guys. Who's not doing so well? Honestly. But I think it's a pretty good go-kart course. It's a course I would drive. Let's see what it's like when you go say down underground. It's a bit of a glitch there. You saw behind us. You could see the uh, supports. We went straight through the supports. That doesn't usually happen, but it can. Unfortunately. Obviously, this game is not super new, so there's going to be some issues. I wish there was a way to change the go-kart speed. There might be. I would like them to go faster. <laughs> More risk to my uh, my 
wonderful patrons. Might as well check, though. Mission price. More circuits. No, there is no speed. Alright, that's good. I'm just going to load up some more trees. Just because, why not? I mean... Okay. I'm just going to fill all this area with trees. I just kind of want to feel sort of secluded. One nice thing is it randomly rotates the trees so they don't get too... doesn't get too um, boring looking. Also, another problem with doing... I'm sort of in the free mode. I forget what the specific name for it is. But a problem with the free mode is there's... Or free player sandbox mode. Is there's never a lot of... There's no variation. Like, the entire ground is all flat. And while I can't, it makes it easy enough for me to do stuff with that if I want to, like a, like if I wanted to have a, you know, mountains and stuff, I could do it, but it's, it's just a pain. Uh, and sometimes you kind of just want that to already be there. Female statue found. Why not? Something to look at. I've been forced. They're finishing up. Just looking around, it already does look a little bit nicer. Obviously, it's a go-kart course. It's only so nice can look. I want to say this real quick. All right, looks good. Um, yeah. So I think we'll build a pool. We're gonna sort of shift to water, sort of themed area. So, and from here we can actually put some more, some cooler scenery out. You've won an award. Safest park and best reliability. Not bad. So for, well, I don't know. What would be good for a water sort of theme? This would be good, I guess. So we're going to shift this down just to two. Because I'm not sure there will obviously be less people going here. At some point, I'm going to branch out instead of just going straight, you know. But for now, I'm just going to keep going, and we'll be in water theme, water world. And you can't have water without a pool, so that's what we're going to start with. A pool. Ah. So to build a pool, we just go to Pool Creator. The way it works is pretty similar, actually, to... Well, actually, it's not similar to anything. Now that I think about it. So we're just going to build a pretty decent-sized pool here. We'll do a different edge here. Let's do another pool. I'm just going to have several, several different ones. Make it more interesting. What does this mean? I don't know. All right, and then on the outside, we just got to this all the way around. Whoops. Alright, there we go. We've got our basic pool. So we can put some other stuff in, like if you want to put a hot tub in, we can just throw some of these around here. Throw some chairs, chairs. Lights we need to put in, but we're not... I'm not actually going to worry about that for right now. Just because that's more of a thing when we, we'll worry about when we have to worry about night. So this pool is going to be a wave pool. We can put a wave machine here. Somewhere. There we go. And a lifeguard. Why not? Safety. And a big diving pool board. Into the wave pool. And a couple of ladders. Alright, looks good. So now that we've got that, what we need to do is put our changing rooms in. So I'll do just a pair of these. Since we're sort of the tropical feel, we can do that. No. Set both of these to open. Open. And in settings, we can change our wavelength and wave height. And of course we want to do it at maximum, because why not? 
30 seconds every minute. That looks about good. Also, here we're going to want to put a swimsuit purchasing station, whatever that's called. Swimsuit stall. Right there. Make that open. And then, well, here we might as well sell sunglasses. Sun cream, sunglasses. We don't care about sun cream, do we? Alright, so now I've got our pool. People will start to head out over here since we just added that. But one of the things we can also do with a pool is add water slides. So we are going to do that. And you can make some pretty ridiculous water slides, is the fun thing. I'm going to do our H2O bowl, body slide, aqua blaster. I'm going to start with aqua blaster because these tend to be pretty good. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit. If you hold down shift, you can actually start up higher. And we can have paths raise up to get to it. Have a couple of these and then straight down. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to go underwater or not for this one, or underground for this one. And then we'll do a helix. Small down. Small the other way. And up. And the thing is, we might have to go back and add chains to these. Large helix up, up. I'm like, I'm not sure if we're going to have the momentum that we need. We don't want to do that. And we can go into a tunnel. I'm not sure we're going to have energy to do this. I, I want to try it, though, because we certainly might. And basically, how this thing works is it has to end in a pool. So let's do a turn. Down, down. Take this off. Oh, we can put a booster section, that's what we're going to have to do. And then flume end. We might have to be a little higher to do this. Flume end, there we go. So they will drop straight into this, assuming they've got... Assuming the momentum is right. In fact, we can have it go straight. We might want to make it a little bit more exciting. <laughs> Whoops. Stop. Stop. I accidentally hit the autocomplete, which will automatically finish your track for you. Um, yeah, I think we want to be higher up here. Up, 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 that flume end. There we go. Um, it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? I don't want to be too overly latent with this <laughs> the fact that I'm trying to kill my guys. There we go, that should work. So we can test it out and just well, see if it works. If we get stopped up, we're going to have to add some booster sections. It's probably seem pretty good though. Slowing down. We need some booster sections right here. So I'm gonna put these. So you can select. If you're in construction, you can select different ones. Booster, booster. There we go. So now turn this off. Test it again. Let's see if it works. Slow down a little bit, and then we should hit the... I think I missed the booster. Yeah, these are boost... Are these being boosted? They are not being boosted. That is the issue. They were turned off. Alright. I'm going to turn this way up. 
60 miles per hour booster. Yeah, we might have to delete this and then build our boosters in again. Build, build, there. Now that should work. That will give us quite a bit of a punch, I think. Try this again. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit fast. Whoa. Oh, how about that? We landed in the pool. Nonetheless, that was a bit speedy for, for this. Chain the speed. Yeah. If the next one lands in, I'll just keep it. <laughs> Basically, it doesn't matter the velocity or anything, or depth, obviously. It's just that it lands in a pool, which looks like they are doing. But I'm going to actually just modify this, just attach. Delete, delete. Maybe I'm just going to have it aimed down at the pool. See if that works better. Looks like I accidentally tossed it. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just shift this flume back a little bit. So that we don't crash. I'm let my guys step back. It's a big sight to do that. Oh, something happened. Whoa! Oh, boy. That's not gonna do. Where'd it go? <laughs> These booster sections are a bit much, I'm learning. I guess we're just going to turn this down. Let's try something a lot less, like 26 miles per hour. That's a bit more reasonable, right? There we go. Try that. We have to turn that up again. Let's try 38. A lot of this sort of stuff is trial and error. Generally, this doesn't work, but you don't have to do this with roller coasters just because there's less friction. But obviously, when you're going with the water, the water's not going to be as high speed as we are. That's giving us a little bit more boost. Not quite enough. Forty nine. Hopefully, that'll get us there. It's like the sixth or seventh time we've tried this. The problem is, we just have such a sharp elevation gain after that. I might have to just change the whole way this works. I can't find a happy medium. There we go. That's pretty good. I think that counts. I'm gonna shift this back just I'm gonna shift it back two actually. And for some reason my cursor's messed up. Delete, delete, delete. Off the end. Alright. One more time. It's really fun sometimes, like, you'll just make these huge ones and they sing way up in the air and then see how far away you can, like, make it. There we go. That's just about perfect. That will do. So now we need to hook a pool path up to it. So we've got a construction here. This is really weird, my cursor.
think we will. Yeah, we should make it here. I think this is the right. There we go. Alright, now that there's a path hooked up to it, we should be able to set this to open, and now our peeps can write it. These uh, characters are actually called peeps for some reason. <laughs> They're gonna have some fun. You don't have to worry about how this gets back up, though, which is kind of interesting. I'm not, it's, maybe it's just an oversight, or maybe it's just too much work to develop for them. Right, let's throw some palm trees around here. Some scenery. We're going to be Atlantis. Yeah. That's not a big vase. Fisherman on a rock. Gladiator statue. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll put that right there. Yeah. Put our second one right there. Alright. Neptune. We're gonna, we want to save some of these whoops, for some of these we want to save for when we build our roller coaster for this area. Alright, I'm actually going to do a little bit of terrain because I kind of want a hill here. Ooh, that looks ugly, doesn't it? Smooth terrain. Alright, sorry about that. Um, basically, as I was saying, I kind of want to just build some sort of mountain, mountainous areas around this, just to make it look a little bit more, a little bit better. Okay, I just want to just have it a little bit more interesting when they're there, so you can put like trees and stuff on it. And then we'll come back and smooth all this stuff out later. Obviously, we can't smooth out everything. Alright, make this larger, and then we'll go smooth it out. Hopefully, you take this thing, these things, these sharp edges down. Alright, that looks good. Still a little bit of them, but it's close enough. So, then we're going to change the way it looks. Rock. And actually, I don't know what we, if there is anything. Sand, we'll do sand, yeah, there we go. So we actually sort of feel like we're in a tropical area, hopefully. Except for the sharp edges here. That's bright, that's pretty cool though. I just, I do like the way the sand looks a lot. All right, that's good. Now we'll just pop some palm trees here. Atlantis, now we want trees. No Atlantis trees. Oh, we're just gonna have to try all these. I'm sure there's palm trees. Coconut palm, there we go. So build just some of these little cl clusters around here, up top. So we make it look more like it's a tropical area. Obviously, we don't have to put too much work into the covered up areas. We might as well make these sort of areas look a little bit better. So this is the fast area. Kind of maybe we should put a statue in there. Uh, I wish there's a way to just right-click, click, check one or something. I just want large ones. Actually, if we have an, anim an animatronic, we could do that. Sea Serpent. Can we even see that? No, we can't. Oops. So what I need to do is raise this up just a touch if we can actually see if we can actually get something on there. This goes way down. Raise it up. And we might not be able to get this in a way that looks good just because of the way this works. That's about as high as we can go. Alright, um, let's just pick a tall statue then. Nope. Um, foliage. Is it scenery? There we 
we go. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Alright, let's just write it again. I want to see what it looks like. It doesn't want to let me get in for some reason. Probably because it doesn't currently... That's a good question. Why can't I get on this? I don't know. Alright, it looks better, though. That's sort of the point. Oh. The ass is a lot better as well. I'm actually, you know... I'm going to sort of thing. So like that. And we can't see this. Into the pool. Oh, you can see they disconnect. They're not strapped in. Got some decent results. You can see we got excitement, intensity, and nausea. So intensity is more of G-force. Nausea is like spinning. Excitement is just how fun it is in general. Is there a way to color this? There should be. There's people on there. Number of circuits. We obviously can't do multiple circuits. There is a way to color this. There it is. So, track. I'm going to try black. Oh, we want these to be blue, I think. Those are the supports. Top, we'll try black. That's the inside. Mm. Red? No, it's too bright. It is like a doom sort of sand color. Like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright. Let's see, I think we should build our coaster for this one. Excuse me. How do I want to do this, though? Well, first I'm just going to throw a water ride down. Oh, these are actually on water. We need a... Um, lazy river. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's just, just this is pretty, this is pretty standard. That was too close. Delete the back one. Put it there. Yeah, not a lot to do with this. Just sort of a. Yeah, really nothing to do with this actually. I mean, it's just <laughs> make it look good, I guess. Hmm, that didn't work, did it? We need that small curve here. Large. That's not gonna work because we need a little bit more small. Back one. All right, that looks good. Pool path. All right, we can open this. Why can't we open this? Hmm. It's not telling me what's wrong with it. There is a path hooked up to it, right? Settings, construction. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, it's because I'm under construction. That's. No? Shoot. Alright, well, you're going then if I can't actually open you. For whatever reason. Yep. We'll just simply put something else there. Hmm. Actually, I don't really know. Laser River, I did come up. Let's just open the design. Whoa, that's big. Maybe this will let us actually do it. Can't open it. Is this not? Oh, does this have to go up? 
might be the problem. Let's check our pool path. Up. There we go. Ah, uh, that was the problem. Well, this will do, I guess. Why not? It's kind of big, but we got some nice place for scenery. So, just change the way it looks. Dune it sand. We want small, soft, just normal. No, we want dune. Dune looks better. And we'll have our roller coaster go over the top of this. How about that? Neptune. We'll go in the middle here. And we'll put palm trees after we put our coaster down. So, we're going to build a coaster. This will probably be the last thing we do. I'm starting to get a little tired. But, we can do dinghy. It's too boring. We need a real coaster. Hard line. Those are pretty fun. I think there's a water coaster that I think about it. There's so many water coaster. Splashing down in sections of water. Yeah, let's try this. Not sure if I've ever built one of these actually. So we're gonna sort of have this go up over that. Alright, so now we need to raise it up and we need to put our chain link on. level off and we are going to go down start with a fast drop slope up how do we do a helix I think I might have to bend the car so you can see what this will do is this will change the angle of it yeah and then we can do helixes and stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, and you can see this here is autocomplete, so that will automatically finish our our uh, track. If we want, we can actually have this testing while we were testing it, just to see how this goes. So we can turn our water section on, splash into that. And I'm thinking we need to get over land so this doesn't fall apart. I'm going to bank our turn so it's a little bit less intense. A small helix. And we want to actually flip the bank, I think. Small helix down. Large helix down. Small helix down. And we'll just head straight over. Flip this round. Alright, so you see this water slowed us down too much. So we're going to have to erase a lot of what we did here. So we have to do a down pretty fast if we want to stay moving. The thing is, we can always add if we have to add another chain link. It's like here, I could just start adding it, one of these, if we can get there. So let's watch this go up and see if it works. Time for 
are. Yes, that's going to be perfect. Oops. Water Coaster 1 has crashed. Well, I'm testing it. Huh. I just thought I was still in construction, but yeah, we lost to the top of that. So, yeah. I'm going to do a down short turn. Those are pretty fun. And we're going to have to start heading this guy back to home. We're a bit low to the ground, it looks like, so we're see if we can raise this up in time. And the thing is, we can hit autocomplete, and it will try and finish it for us, and it looks like it did. So entrance and exit. Let's go and tr test this out. Why can't we test this out? Because we're not testing, that's why. Alright, so you don't get, actually get very wet on this. But, you know, pretty standard. It's not, not a super interesting coaster. Like, there's not a lot of... There's much less options to do with a lot of coasters. I think Corkscrew Coaster is the most... Actually, we had our things going down. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of boring. But it's been a long time since I've made one of these. Is there anything cool we can do at the end? Sewer, we don't know yet. Can we do a turn while we're splashing? No. Any of these we can splash in? No. I guess we'll just do that there. Water. And no water. There we go. So at least we get a little bit of splash. And that will work out nicely, I think. So let's go ahead and build our queue. Exit path. Oops. There we go. Good to go. And we need to change the number of. We'll do two cars per train, and we'll do three trains. I think that'll be good. All right, so we'll open that, and then from there we'll decide our color. So we don't want all black, that's for sure. Blue. We need a brighter or darker blue. Want these to be white. Oh, well, this has to be white. All right, that looks pretty good. I just I'm curious what our ratings are. No test results yet. We can accelerate time here. And hopefully sees a little faster. Alright, so that's not access. You can see we've also got graphs. You can see speed results and stuff like that. Alright, that's decent. That's not not too bad. I believe if another train lies right arrives at the station, that's what we want to do. And I don't know if there's any trees or anything I can add to this. It's all pretty much very ver vertical. But I do want to put some palm trees just in this general area. I wish I knew where palm trees came from. Pirates, that's probably what it is. Yeah, there we go. Christmas palm, I really like those. Coconut palm. Queen palm. 
Some of the different kinds of palms. Short palm, small fern, washi palm. What are these? Just throw these around. Looks like we switched trees from washi palm. Throw some coconut palms in. But washi palms look pretty good. I think. So to give it a little bit more of a tropical feel. Let me just throw these things around everywhere. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. We got some good stuff done. It's been retro gaming now, doing a... Not so much an LP, but just just playing a game. Playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know, as always, if you enjoyed, rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Alright, goodbye.